Hey guys, welcome to MovieCast. This is a show where we talk about everything film related. I'm Mike, that's Costa, that's Amber. Yes. That's my, we're all co-hosts, good friends. That is my name, yes. Yes. Yep. yes. <laughs> I'm good, I think I got that right. I think, uh, I don't know, um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, anyway, so today's show, uh, it is officially uh, the release of Star Wars Rogue One. So uh, we wanted to kind of take a look back at uh, the Star Wars history. You know, I mean, I'm very excited for Rogue One, by the way. I mean, we're going to go see it this weekend. Um, so, and I know many of you are probably going out to see it or have already seen the Thursday night premiere. Waiting. Or are in one line waiting right in now. Line. So, yeah. I mean, you know, this probably won't generate the same sort of like the exact same sort of revenue as Force Awakens, but I think... It's going to make but a lot of money. It's right. going to make a lot yeah. of money, and I think this has the potential to be one of the best films of this year. So, uh, but before we can look ahead, let's take a step back and look back. Um, so, obviously, we have seven Star Wars films, and, you know, there's generally a consensus about, you know, what are the best ones, but we decided why not take our crack at it. Amber's giving me a, uh, giving a, a, a look there, <laughs> because I, I know what you're going to say, but, um, but so we're just going to uh, rank, you know, just do a general discussion and rank our, like, most, either most favorite or the ones that we consider the best Star Wars films down to, you know, our either least favorite or what we consider the worst Star Wars films. So, as always, I'm going to start off on the far end of the couch there. You get lucky being in that seat, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Costa, how would you rank the Star Wars films? Let, I mean, you can choose either. I would say let's start from bottom up. From the bottom? Yeah. All right, well, then the bottom is should be as no surprise, but it's Phantom Menace. It's it's sure. it's, it's down there. No, I'm not going to talk about why it's down there. Yeah. It's, it's down there. Nothing yeah. said about it. <laughs> um, number two is um, Attack of the Clones. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean... I mean, I think we, there's a general consensus about what... I mean, there's a lot of things that people point to that went wrong with the prequels. I mean, the general consensus is George Lucas's writing is not... Yep. And, and he even admitted that he's not a very good writer himself. Mm -hmm. That's why you, you get know. other people, because you're... I'm just saying. Well, and that's why most people point to the best film in the trilogy he had the least... Mm -hmm. That most people consider the best film in the trilogy he had the least involvement in. Mm -hmm. and, but, but, I mean, you know, there, I think there was something to him. He just... When you're the creator, when you created something and you're going back to it, like there's some that sort of sense of like, you know, I need to take over this so that I know what I want to do with this story. You know, there's yeah. Uh, well, again, I understand the argument, have but co-writers. Now there are right, but and you could always have a co-writer. Right, but it, but if you're a better writer than Lucas, let's just say that like if you were more like if you were like an Aaron Sorkin or yeah. you know like people mm -hmm. would trust your writing. You know what I mean, but yeah. but the problem is Lucas just is not a good writer. But continue, right, Costa. Right. Yep. Um, I did a little bit of wrestling with with this spot, but I'm actually going to put Return of the Jedi right here. Okay. Um, no, nothing against it. Return of the Jedi is a perfectly fine movie. I love I love Return of the Jedi. It, it's it's a it's, it's a good movie, <laughs> but I, I think though you know um, I, I'll get to it later. But you know as a as a follow up to Empire. Which mm -hmm. you, you, most people, which I think some people could argue is probably like the best sequel right. to a movie in any franchise. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it dips off a little right. bit at the end. Um, uh, next would be uh, Revenge of the Sith. Yes. Um, Out of all the prequels, that was definitely why the because best. because that's the one that gave the payoff that that the people when wanted. You've been waiting for. Yeah, people yeah. were waiting yes. for like. Like, everyone, everyone wants to know the origin of, like, the whole point is, like, oh, we get to see how, like, Anakin becomes Darth Vader right. and everything. But obviously this is, you know, yeah, you get little bits of stuff in the in Phantom Menace and, and, and like, it gives you, like, insight right. in, into why, but, but everything that you need to know as to why he became Darth Vader is in Revenge of the Sith. The Great Jedi Purge, yes. the Clone Wars. Yes, fin I, everything. Finally, finally getting the all-out war from a series called Star Wars. Yes. And we finally get a movie that's just dedicated to an all-out war. It, it, yeah, it finally gave the payoff that, well, that, that, of, that the people but, would want yeah. out of the prequels, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but again, but it still also carries some of the flaws that came with the prequels as, yeah. a, as, as a whole. Um, next is uh, A New Hope. New okay. Hope, the, the original Star Wars. Yep. Um, well, that started it all. The started it all. <laughs> you know, again, it you know, it, it, it's great, fantastic movie. It's 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 uh, genre defining. Go, oh, absolutely. You know, um, 
After that, I, I have Force Awakens as okay. as my as my uh, number two yeah. overall. Um, I, I love <sighs> the Force Awakens. It was a great movie. And the only my reason why from last year. And the only reason why I do not have it as number one is only because it. It is, despite the great diverse cast, it was the movie that needed to be made at the time to kind of get the series um, back on track. on track, right. and solid foundation, strong footing moving forward. But it, it, it was more or less a rehash of of the original, yeah. uh, of the of the original Star Wars story. Yeah, they basically just shifted some of the characters around, like right. Han Solo took Obi Wan's spot, right? Like right. that sort of thing. And deal. some people would argue, well, why not? Why not put? Uh, a, a, you know, a new hope ahead of since it mm. was the first one. I, I was, I was still. I think you know. I, it, 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 yeah. I, I think because of the fact that that Force Awakens had a lot of those nostalgic moments. Mm-hmm. Like, like how, when people saw Star Wars for the first time, you know, like, like no one's like sta- Like maybe people stood up and cheered. At the, like at the end, yeah. But, nobody, but in Force Awakens, there were several right. moments throughout the film. Yeah, people that is in true. In the theater, mm. were 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 cheering and excited, mm. and and just like that that feeling. Well, and Star Wars kind of came out of nowhere as being the phenomenon because right. I mean I remember Harrison Harrison Ford famously told the story that like when he was in like a theater for a different movie and the trailer for Star Wars came on. Like, it said, you know, coming to theaters, blah, blah, blah. And somebody in the audience yelled, yeah, and then straight to video a week <laughs> later or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, people thought it was going to be garbage. But, yeah, but again, but because of that, I, I, I give, I, I put it number two. And number one, of course, I, I've mentioned is, is going to be Empire Strikes Back. Right. Um, Empire. Em, Empire, it, it, <laughs> again, like, it, 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 it you know, you, you... I am your father. Right. <laughs> and how, how, what better way could you follow up such a... A, a successful film like mm-hmm. like it's it, you would think it would be hard right. to top like Star Wars right yeah. but they did mm-hmm. and he and went over no, budget on the movie too right mm-hmm. and nobody and, and, like everyone likes to talk about great movie twists imagine imagine being someone that, that grew up in the in, you know someone who was maybe born in the late sixties or whatever you grew up with Star Wars and you go and see Empire Strikes Back in the theaters and in that moment yeah that oh, revelation. Absolutely. Yeah. Like you were probably blown out. Like your <laughs> brain just probably just like splattered out of your ears. And that was like you had to painstakingly wait for like four years. Yeah, to, right. To, to and that was like the most fall. heavily guarded secret during production of that movie too. Like, e- like I think even Mark Hamill didn't even know no. that that was the yeah, twist until know. they film until they basically just filmed it. Like, right. I think yeah. they had wrote, written something else. Like, they I think they wrote like something else in the script to hide it. Was he didn't see it until in like the theater or whatever like it was they said other dialogue. See, I've heard different things. Theater. I've heard that like that he didn't know until they shot it. Oh, that. And was. then he reacted the way he did mm-hmm. and that was like more of a pure reaction cuz he just, you know, cuz he kind of says, "No, that's not true. That's impossible." It yeah. does kind of m- lend you to think maybe Mark Hamill's just reacting to the line reading. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but it, it is it is arguably the the greatest sequel Mm-hmm. In any movie, in any movie franchise, um, you know, has one of the greatest Great, one, twists and, and some of the best moments. Some of the best dialogue in a yeah. film too. I mean, the dialogue was real nice. Like, like Star Wars has always had this sort of like, I want to say proper tone to it. Like everybody kind of speaks in proper tones for the most part, especially in the prequels. Mm-hmm. They are all about proper, like almost like English or Britain style tones. Like, but in in Empire, like the the wit was quick, snappy, you know, like like they just had some brilliant moments that there there's a reason why Empire goes down as one of the best sequels and it's also one of the best like films to look at, like if you're like a young filmmaker, just to look at look, you don't need to say all of this to convey this. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. the best moment was the improvised line of you know, I love, I love you. you. I know. I know. Right. That's all you needed. That gives you all of Han Solo's character right then and there and just adds to that moment, right? Like, if he said, I love you too, that takes all the drama out of that moment right, right there. Right, exactly, yeah. just be like, you yeah. know, ghost. <laughs> right, yeah. And, you know, so, so yeah, it, it carries, I mean, that, that film carries two of the more well-known moments in the entire franchise. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I, I got to give up the Empire. I have two, in my bathroom, I have two hand towels, the one that has yeah. Han's face and one that has Leia's, and it says, 
and the one tout says I love you and the other says I know. So, yeah. I just wanted to throw that out. thought that was a fun fact. Amber. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, now you kind of admitted that you're not, you weren't really the a true dedicated, like, Star Wars fan like, oh, no. like us. No. <laughs> like me and Costa. Um, yeah, I grew up uh, with my dad is actually like the perfect age for Star Wars. He mm -hmm. grew up, he was born in the 60s, so like st when Star Wars came, he was like 15. He's not into sci-fi. He's actually just saw Star Wars, like the original three, for the first time last year. Wow. Because my Dang. brother made him sit. He's like never been, <laughs> he's never seen him. That's crazy. Before. My And his brother, who was my uncle who was younger, who watched <laughs> him, called him a weirdo and said something's wrong. I was like, what's wrong with you? Um, so we didn't grow up with Star Wars in our house mm. because my dad doesn't watch that stuff. And so we didn't watch it, had no idea, whatever. Um, and even when I did watch it, when they re-released them in the 90s, I still didn't care. So um, in general... Everything's kind of I like. Which ones have you seen? All of them. Okay, you have seen all. Of them. I've seen okay. everything. Well, that yes. well, that's good. I mean. No, I've I've seen it because I was okay. like, well, I should because they're like, you know, whatever. Yeah. Maybe it's different for me. Okay. Um, I still really. <laughs> I will go. I'm halfway with Costa with uh, the last, the first episodes one and two. Okay. Um, are unnecessary and should have just been cut out in general. So whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to be that that harsh, but there's no reason. I, um, there are things they could have done better. I mean, I think we can all admit those that. Those should have been flashbacks <laughs> in what should have been one episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, to make it a trilogy. The first one was a trilogy. Not really. Yes, no. you do. You have something called the Clone Wars, like the TV series. You should have just had that in between. Yeah, but that only got, that only, Listen, you only had the, the platform for that because you had the movies. Nobody cares. <laughs> because they suck anyway, so who cares in the, in general? Oh, um, man, this is brutal. Uh, Savage. I liked <laughs> the third one, though, and I agree with Costa, like, that's up there for me because mm. when I saw that, it, the last, like, 15, 20 minutes of that movie is awesome because of the fighting on the lava planet. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And when he catches on fire. Yes. And he's like, I hate you. That all that fantastic. stuff. That's great. I remember seeing the poster for that because there's that mm. one poster where, like, it's the Anakin Skywalker with, like, his evil eyes and then the cloak. And the cloak has the, um, looks like uh, Darth Vader's mask. And oh. it was like a, te like a teaser poster. I'll have to see like, that. Like, coming. Huh. You've never seen that poster? No, I, It's a badass looking poster. That's I pretty will cool. Admit, even though, like, the actor is whatever. But, <laughs> um, so I do like that movie. Um... The episodes four, five, and six are kind of like all in one for me. Really? They're all in one for me. Oh, it's, man. It's Even like, Empire didn't stand out for you? I mean, by uh, the time I watched it, I already know that Darth Vader is Luke's father. That's, that's true. So it, it, it's got to be harder watching it, yeah. like, beyond a certain age. Like... Yeah. But, right, like, well, I mean, yeah. if, if you In weren't a part culture, of that group, it was already there. If, right. you, if you weren't a part of that of, of of the group of people that got to see it in theaters mm -hmm. when originally. Then, well, then, then the revelation well, of Vader some being people that have seen it that don't realize that because they're not into it. But well, it's well, a and that's culture, why like saying so. It's like, well, I know that he already is. Well, and that's why I said at a certain age because I you mean, when get I, a kid, like, right, because when, when I saw the movies, the the original ones, like. I was still, I, I mean, I think like 12 honest, years old or well, something, God, and I didn't I'd know the heard, twist. Honestly, when I was so. really young, I'd heard, I knew the line, Luke, I am your father, before I even ever saw Star Wars. Mm -hmm. hmm. Like, like it, it's such a okay. weird thing. Interesting. Like, yeah. like, I don't know where I heard it from or where, yeah. like how I knew it, but all I know is that when I, the first time I ever saw, when, once I had seen Empire Strikes Back, I'm like, Oh, that's where yeah. it's from. That's what it is. I mean, there. Are, I mean, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, that is kind of neat. Th anyway. But like, so but yeah, like, go ahead. It, it didn't have the effect on me. Okay. And I think also being like a little girl and that, like, when I had seen it, like, like thirteen or twelve, like, it wasn't like, like for my brother and my cousin who right. were watching it, like, they were all like into it, and like afterwards, they just wanted to fight. <laughs> with, with fake invisible lightsabers. There wasn't even any lightsabers there. They were just... Oh, jeez. And then raptors came into it. It's uh. just weird. They were into, like, Star Wars and, 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 mm -hmm. and dinosaurs at the same time. <laughs> so just, and, and they have ADD, so you know how that went. Um, so to me, I was just like, can we just go outside now? So everything, like, Star Wars for me is just like... 
it kind of all melds together. And I know that's probably mm. sacrilegious for some people, but it's I just, mean, it's... I'm not, I didn't grow up with like the big sci-fi movies or right. I wasn't too into it. That was like my brother. Mm -hmm. um, but I, but, but Force Awakens is at the top of my list. Okay. I will say the prequels are at the bottom, though I do like, <laughs> I do like the last like 20 solid minutes of the, the right. third Re movie. Revenge of Sith, yeah. yeah. Um, Cause I got that. Mm -hmm. Everything else, like the <laughs> politics part to it, I'm like, I don't know what's happening. But I don't really care because I don't live here anyway. <laughs> so, and it's not real. Um, and uh, yeah. You saw Force Awakens twice, didn't you? I saw Force Awakens twice, and the second time I saw it in like 3D IMAX because I liked it so much. Yeah. And I'm excited for Rogue One. <laughs> I have a feeling I might not understand everything that's happening in Rogue One. I do know it's in between three and four. We can give you the rundown. Before, I know it's uh, got the big planet and stuff. When I, we go to see right? it, yeah, the big yeah. planet. The the laser beam <laughs> thing. The Death Star. Sure. The Death Star. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, but oh, so, dear Lord. but I like Force Awakens, and probably technically after probably Rogue One, that'll probably I'll like that too. You sounded like my mom trying to describe a Pokemon movie when she went when she had to go see that with oh, with God. us when we were that young. And she was just like, I have no idea. There's these I'd creatures honest, flying if through I was the your air. Mother, I would have just dropped you off, sat you there, and <laughs> left. I'd be like, no. I was too young at the time, unfortunately. I would have just been like, you know what? It's not worth it. Well, let's hope Rogue One can carry over the momentum that Force Awakens has I'm, established I'm with the new series. I'm liking so far, like, yeah. I like Force Awakens. I'm excited for Rogue One. I'm mm -hmm. excited for the movie. I'm excited for eight, episode eight. Yep. I'm excited yep. for that. I'm all these new updated Star Wars yep. ones I'm excited for just because you're getting a mm -hmm. different filmmakers, but I know that they're fans of Star Wars. These and are gonna, these are labors of love, yes. and you can tell that. That's um, that's pretty clear. I trust in Kathleen Kennedy to bring yeah. somebody that's not a Star Wars fan, does not give a shit, <laughs> and then be like, "I'm excited. I don't know what's happening. Who, <laughs> Who is? Is it Luke? I don't know. Let's do it." All right. So let me. Uh, that's go. not really a list, really. No, it's, just it's like really not. But those, that's okay. You series. still you still got to it eventually. I, I, I will say, what's the middle one? Uh, what's, what, what, episode. What? Five? Empire, Empire? Yeah. Strikes Back. Yeah. I like that one because on the lip sync thing, they had the like Yoda and Luke. Um, oh and yeah, everybody's so been talking about that. I like about the that movie just because yeah. that was a hilarious <laughs> video. So I'll put that one up there too. Okay, good to know. <laughs> All right, so to go uh, to my list, and uh, funnily enough, my list almost almost mirrors Costas almost perfectly, uh, besides a few exceptions. So at the bottom. Phantom Menace. You know, George Lucas doesn't know how to write. The characters were stiff, and which is really sad because they had a really Child great actors. cast. They had no. Well, no. Jake Lloyd wasn't even the problem. The problem was he had all these A-list actors playing at like Cinema. I have to give credit to Cinema Sense for describing this. Uh, they had A-list actors playing blocks of wood. True. Like that. Yeah. That's what they were. They just they gave Jake Lloyd nothing in return. So I can't even say it was Jake Lloyd also, it's kind was of the weird detriment. That, like, Natalie Portman and then Jake, the, the little kid, right. there's an and age then, difference. And I was like, why and don't then you he just make them the same age? Yeah, because then he grows up to, and then he's like 10 years but younger she still than looks her. the same because yeah. it's Natalie Portman, but I was yeah. just like, it's just... Just make it the same age. Yeah, so Phantom Menace had problems. The lightsaber fight and the Duel of the Fate song at the end is epic. And it mm -hmm. almost, almost makes up for the entire movie. But it, but it doesn't. It doesn't. But I'm saying it, it, it gets close it because little, it well like because how cool was scene. it when you're you're like okay cool we're about to see Darth Vader he's about to or Darth Maul I'm sorry mm -hmm. he's about to face off against Obi Wan and uh, Qui Gon oh, no. this is going to be awesome and then how awesome was it that after he drops the cloak he then pulls out his lightsaber and then boom the double sa the double sided saber comes out you're just like whoa man double sided lightsaber so really in the end it's just the, the lightsaber <laughs> oh yeah the lightsaber duel end, absolutely well, the you sit through the whole movie yeah. and the yeah. song yeah, yeah you sit through the whole movie just to get to that yeah, yeah. Um, so moving on Attack of the Clones is my second at, at the second to the last um, it did things better than Phantom Menace but Anakin and Padme's story in the middle oh it's, it's, so oh, it's brutal it's a drag it, it, the, the lines are Awkward, and they make you like. There, those those have some lines that you're just like, oh, like you feel uncomfortable sitting in the audience just watching. You're just like, oh, 
And it's not because the romance is awkward or anything, but it's because the lines are awkward and the well, deliveries of them and are also, awkward. I don't, and the romance is a little bit well, awkward. Well, also, like, <laughs> Hayden Christensen, sorry, he's not... He does good in spots. In spots, he does he, good, but, but the problem is, too, they made him to be a whiny character. He needed to be, like, charis he needed to be charismatic and a little almost, bit more... It, it's almost a sad thing. Adam Driver actually plays a better, what could have been a version of Anakin, mm -hmm. better than... Then Hayden Christensen per portrayed Anakin. You know, like like om I almost feel Kylo Ren is a better Anakin Skywalker than Anakin Skywalker was. Well, also, you know what I mean? I feel like he could have fit Driver the role so much. Actor, so. And maybe he is, yeah. but also he's given better direction too. I feel That's like Hayden true. Christensen yeah. could have done better with a better director as well. Well, because J. J. again, Abrams is a much better director. Right, than, and 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 again, because yeah. like I said, the blocks of wood. I mean, George Lucas directed all three of these movies, mm -hmm. these the prequel films, so. Again, it, it, I feel like if you had a different director with all that talent, it could have been much different. So, you know, again, like we'll it's move all on. Like, like he, he honestly, like, they were doing the rehearsal, and then he said cut, and they're like, oh, are you ready? And they're like, nope, we're moving next. And like, oh, I wasn't really giving it my all. It just feels like they <laughs> uh, were yeah, giving it like like I, I feel like Lucas got more lazy as it went along, too, because, like, his camera movements, besides the action scenes, are not that great either. Like, the cinematography is all kind of basic, standard shot, reverse shot in every scene, and except for the action scenes where then he gets a little bit creative. Well, I think but that's other than the that, people that are right. making it get creative. Well, right, and maybe that's, maybe that's the case. Um, Return of the Jedi is my third from the bottom of the list. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I like the movie. I do see some of the problems with it. The whole Ewoks versus the Empire at the end was kind of silly. Those are the bears, right? Yes, those are the little tiny bears that are cute. Mm -hmm. But damn it, they're cute, all right? Mm -hmm. So I still give Return of the Jedi points for that. Um, uh, then I put A New Hope after Return of the Jedi. And again, I'm not saying, well, okay, I've kind of put down the prequels a little bit. But A New Hope being that far down the list is not an indictment on A New Hope. I loved A New Hope. It was a great movie, and it's, it's, it's a very simple story concept, but yet it, it was perfect. You know, to start the series at mm -hmm. least. It was per especially the Death Star trench run at the end. Mm -hmm. Tell me you, there is not one of the, that is not one of the more exciting moments in cinema. When, like, the music, Are the build up at the end. Honestly. I'm not saying you, <laughs> but I'm saying it, it, the, ask the collective, you know, Star culture, fans, the yeah. collective culture. Was there a more exciting moment in, those orig in that original trilogy than when that Death Star run, when Luke, you know, turns off his targeting computer and then it's just using the Force? And it was so exciting. It was so much fun. But the other films that I'm about to list, I find myself enjoying more to watch. And the next one is Revenge of the Sith. I'm not saying Revenge of the Sith is really better than A New Hope. I just enjoy watching it's it more. Out of the three, it's the best. It's the, uh, the well, out of the there. original prequels, yeah. it's the best. It's the best and, one. And what you said, like the last twenty minutes, that's that's, that's true. That's what everybody's been waiting the, on. The that minute the minute Anakin yeah. converts to the dark side, like when he has that contemplation yeah. scene, and that from there the movie takes off. But it's and also there because you get, you've heard about it through the yes. they talked well, about and that. And from that moment you get what you could have gotten this whole time from Hayden Christensen. Mm -hmm. He does some of his best work during that last part of Revenge of the Sith. He put his effort into it. So he he turned really did. her against me. <laughs> well, yes, I mean yeah. of course. <laughs> You know, he is who he is, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you can't really yeah. get away from that, but... He's more you, diabolical. And right, you can't put... Possessed. You can't, you can't, like, attack his effort during that se that section of the movie. You could tell his heart was in it. Like, when, when he's burning up, like, yeah. he, when he's like, I hate you. Yeah, that's that was the, like, so most, much power, so much energy the, in like, that. That was the, thing oh, that he done. You felt yeah. the emotion come from when that. he was screaming. That he was a completely different person, mm -hmm. and... He just wasn't the same character that he was at the beginning of the movie yeah. anymore. And when that's he, yeah, when he screams oh. at Obi Wan and oh, tells man. him how, like he hates him and yeah. his eyes are like glowing. Yeah. He, like I was like, Yep, that's that's it was the best fantastic. Part. That's, the whole lightsaber battle, part. the intensity of that last lightsaber battle between those two was off the charts phenomenal. Uh, definitely a way to end the original tr the prequel trilogy off of a high note. Um, I have Empire listed as my second best because I do love it it's a great movie everything we've said about it so far is all true you know they're fantastic running through the woods with Yoda on uh, his back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean I mean just just all the like uh, like I said all those things that we've said one of the best lines Yoda ever gave and the best lines of the entire trilogy um, like when Luke comes up to Yoda after Yoda lifts the X-wing out of the swamp and says I don't believe it 
That is why you fail. <laughs> Boom! That is one of the best lines. Like there the, is no better yeah. mentor training line than that. Absolutely that like is the, one um, of the best. The, the nightmare sequence is very... Yeah, it's, oh, it's... It's such, yeah. such a great thing mm -hmm. to then, then afterwards watch, like, when it comes, like, what does that mean with his face in the, right. in the broken helmet? Right. And then you feel like it's... Then you see... Like, and then you realize, the you know, he's he can't give in because that could be him, and, that and, he could and become way, Darth Vader. And it's almost kind of like, a, mm -hmm. like, even you can look at that scene and then look later down the road with, like, um, like The Force Awakens in a way because it's, it's the right. same family lineage. It's, I mean... Well, you know, well, and why? it's one of those scenes where even, like, if you're watching it younger, like as a kid, I probably watched Empire around when I was, like, maybe 13, 14 years mm -hmm. old, so maybe just beyond kid age, but even still, it's like, that's a very simple way to show something, to show, not tell. To show, not tell, yeah. right, exactly. Movies like, are all about mean? show, don't yeah. tell. And that's perfect, because you can clearly, you can get it. You get it when you watch it, like, or when you find like, or even if you, you have go, to think oh, about it, you yeah. still realize, like, oh, okay, I get it, you yeah. know. And and when you do realize it, you realize how clever it is. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's a great movie, but I have to put Force Awakens at the top of my list because because of the fact that I find it one of the more enjoyable Star Wars films to watch, and it combines a level. Well, I think we mentioned this a little earlier, but it it manages to make. Star Wars seem legitimate, I guess, where, as everybody found the originals legitimate, but they kind of also try to stray to a little bit towards, like, sometimes campy. Sometimes. Not all the time, but yeah. sometimes campy. And I think this one managed to do a good blend of bringing it into the modern era, making the stormtroopers actually seem legitimately dangerous. They like, making the situation... Right, yeah. exactly. Making the situation seem legitimately dangerous. Mm -hmm. And... And just great characters. It had a good, Finn, it had a very, Ray, even though it's sci-fi, it had a good yeah. adventure feel. To yes, it. exactly. And that's what the other movies were, but mm. this one had like, but they were more sci-fi tones to it and stuff. Where this had a little, it bumped it up a little bit more to adventure, mm. so it made it more action-packed. Right, and in a way where you can't have like the whole right. thing was you can't have a bunch, you can't. Where the other ones had a lot of lightsaber duels. Right, you couldn't have lightsaber duels in this one. Be uh, like, as well, you one, did except, at the well, end, at the but end, yeah, but you couldn't have it throughout because. The person, the characters are built up, and well, you're missing. You know, and and he what has a, to do something else to make it more right? You know. Well, and what a great blend of characters Ray is, because she's a perfect blend of like Anakin and Luke mm -hmm. a little bit. Because where whereas Luke and was Princess kind of Leia. Le yeah, 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 because where Luke was kind of like. You know, he was kind of finding his way, like, and and so does Ray. But she has more, a She's few more whiny. established skills than Luke did, yeah. even. You know, like Luke she could, was a little whiny she could do all this with the ships. You know, yeah. she could fly the ships. Yeah, Luke was a little bit more. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Come on, you know. Yeah, like, well, where that's why I said like she's more like Princess Leia because she had like a yeah. like a very laid back a take sense. charge attitude yeah. when she had to, yeah. like when the situation called for and it. And when she got annoyed, she just like no. Right. Well, and she it. was able to try to force herself to learn some mm -hmm. things in the movie that Luke, you know, had to be taught to do. You know, where she kind of tried she's to feel taught right a little bit. I yeah. mean that. I mean you see it in the movie. She yeah. basically teaches herself how to do a Jedi mind what trick. What you're saying is she's smart. You know, right? Exactly. <laughs> that's and that she's really powerful. So that's where the mix of Anakin comes in. And, yeah. Um, so it's just it's one of my most enjoyable Star Wars films to rewatch. I just rewatched it last week. Yeah, too, it's a little bit. Yeah. Because it, it's just fun. It's yeah. so much fun. The cinematography, the editing. It has a great flow to it. It never. It doesn't really stop or take any long lulls. It keeps going. You know, it's a two and a half hour film, but it's nice paced. And, and it had a really a lot of great, uh, like, comedic scenes. Yes. Especially with. Well, smart humor. It, it was a, smart humor it and was smart wit. Nice writing. Nice Where, right. Witty writing. I, exactly. Yeah. Where it wasn't like Jar Jar Binks is going, oh, no, no, you know, to try to get a laugh. Like, like they were. they. They infused the humor into clever dialogue. Well, I think it's also because it, with the Chewbacca and Harrison Ford's right. Han Solo when they're talking, and I love the whole thing where like it's a one-sided conversation. Right? Yes. Oh, 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 the best. The best. That's like the, the best part about their whole relationship oh, is yeah. like it's yeah, a one-sided it, conversation. It's great. Like, like I'm gonna do what I always do: talk my way out of it. Yes, I do. Every time, <laughs> like and, and Han and Han gave. He's like, oh, you're cold. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was right. my favorite part. Oh, one one of my favorite lines too is like when uh, when he's facing those two clubs. Yeah. That he had both swindled money out of, 
uh, money out of it. And he's like, have I, guys, you're all going to get what you asked for. Have I ever let you down before? Yes. And then the other group goes twice. And he's just like, what was the second time? <laughs> like, that's brilliant. That's brilliant uh, I, humor. I, I, my, my favorite moment is... Uh, <laughs> When he's with Finn, and Finn's like, "Use those." That's not how it works. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not, not how the force we'll works. Force. We'll use the force. That's, that's not, not how, the how the force works. <laughs> that was one of the best lines in the movie. Hans Han Solo was all killed it. During, like, like Harrison Ford plan? killed it during yeah. that movie. He he did a. Well, fan. He had to play yeah. a ratchety old man. Yeah. version well, of Han Solo. Well, even so. like even before the setup for that for that that's not how the force works jokes like. Like, what did you just do here? Oh, sanitation. Sanitation? Yeah, yeah. The gal- there, people are counting on us. The galaxy is counting and then on he's us. Like, we use the force. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it, was, it was great. It's, you know, like, and that's what I'm hoping we, like, Rogue One, it looks like they're trying to make a different Star Wars film. Yeah. Like, it's meant to be a war-type war action yeah. film. Yeah. But with, like, the like, Star what, Wars like, background. Like, what if, what if Star Wars was a World War II movie? Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and honestly, that's what Star Wars needs at this point. Because every edition of Star Wars we see on film is always it's about the Jedis so, and yeah. the lightsabers and the so magic and the Force. Yeah. You know, we... And, and, yeah, they throw in, like, the, you know, like, the in mid-air dog fights and stuff like that but we never see the you know the fight Unless between the ground like troops the clone wars and stuff right like that, exactly which is a TV so show which that's different because yeah. you can watch that build up too. right on a on a scale of one to ten how loud are the cheers gonna be when darth vader first appears oh my god yeah. I, I mean i I I Don't I can't cry, Im- guys. I was Don't say, cry. I won't cry, but I will say the moment I see him appear and then say his first line, I'm gonna have like those nostalgia like chills running through me. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, line, Darth Vader! First, like deep breath. Yeah. Oh, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> the moment we hear deep the deep breath. breath, like yeah, like it. I mean, I mean, Casa, you saw my reaction when I watched the first Rogue One trailer, like that that revealed Darth Vader is like, ah, Darth Vader, <laughs> <laughs> like. It's like it's really just like him breathing. Like guys, we need to have a talk. No, I, I don't. I remember what management um, skills. <laughs> what um, oh, what's what, what event did they did they reveal the um, did they did they put the trailer with? There was something on TV and they when they put the, the the trailer with it. Like for Rogue One. Rogue One. Like a they, Disney uh, thing, right? Wasn't it like was something with Disney like ABC? I, I think it was ABC. Yeah, all, because all, all, you know, I, all I know is that their, even though I had seen it earlier. Like I'm, 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 I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know, with my, mm. with my uh, fiance, we're sitting there watching it, and uh, and then at the end when they voted, I was like, I just had like the biggest smile on my face. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> like, I, like I mean, I, I wasn't like I didn't make like, out like out loud noises or squeals or right, whatever. Yeah. Something like with football or something, or was that Force Awakens? That was Force Awakens yeah, when Force they did Awakens. the uh, yeah. ticket sales going on for Monday Night Football. But um, and then they broke Fandango. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just I just remember like I had like the biggest stupid grin on my face. Yeah, like, I can't wait. Yeah, so so, so as of the publishing of this video, many of you are going to see Rogue One, like we said at the beginning. So yep. I hope everybody does enjoy Rogue One. We're I'm I'm hoping it's the best movie I see this year. I it, I'm it could honestly hoping be. it could be. I'm I'm again I'm I'm excited. Yeah. I'm very excited. I hope. I just hope it's not a disappointment. And from the little scatterings of things I've heard, I've heard it's not I a disappointment. I haven't heard a negative review. Exactly. Yet. Right. And, and, and um, the only thing negative we've heard is from like the the rumors of like reshoots and stuff. That's but even though, but, now it's, but even but, still, but I'm, that's what I'm saying is like that was months ago, and now I'd be like, I'd be more good. concerned if it was like the Suicide Squad where the trailers took a completely different turn. But no, they've stayed consistent. Well, it's yeah. Disney. Um, right. Disney I, I know. Has smart people and know what right. They're doing exactly. So I'm excited. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys. You know, we're all going to see it this weekend. So it's we're probably all excited. Be the number two. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this will be interesting to update the rankings after this. Um, It'll just be like Force Awakens and then Rogue One. I'll be like, and everything else is mushed <laughs> together, and then the prequel things, except for oh, the last geez. 20 minutes of episode three. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining and sharing your Star Wars stories and opinions. You know, we get we have our own Star Wars stories. I have stories, an evil you know? R2-D2. Oh, oh, that's right. You showed that to me. Yeah, one, that's the one most year. Star Warsy thing I like own. <laughs> I've had it for like fifteen years. I have a lot of Star Wars things in my apartment right now. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. My, my I have the PS4 Darth Vader, for example. 
Uh, the, like the bobbly, the one that came out with Battlefront yeah, a year ago. I have a bobbly head of of <laughs> of, of, uh, of of Darth Vader with his helmet off, mm -hmm. and then I have that film strip from the second one. The second oh, okay, Empire. gotcha. I, think I showed you that. Yeah. Still, feel free to put comments in the video below. Are you guys excited for Rogue One, or if you've seen it already? You know, go ahead and talk. What do you think? Just please be polite, and if you're going to post a spoiler, don't spo please, don't please post at least it until after seven o'clock on Saturday. Yeah, exactly. On or 7 or at least post it with big spoiler words on it, please. But just don't read it. Just be polite. Just don't you go know. on until right. after. Right. Exactly. After the movie don't be an movie. asshole. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much the point right there. So you can continue the conversation. Movie D O T cast. That's how it's spelled on our Twitter account. And on Facebook, it's Movie Period Cast. You can continue the conversation there, or like I said in the comments below, you can also subscribe to see any of the pre previous videos we've put up on YouTube. Uh, once again, thank you guys for joining. This was a lot of fun to reminisce, and I hope we all have a good time to go see Rogue One. See you all in the funny papers. Goodbye.